You know, since 9-11 and immediately after 9-11, we saw Putin uh, put together a Russian organization to fight terrorism, and it was to have two arms, Russian and American. And he named the, the leaders of this organization so that the Russians and the Americans could work together to fight terrorism. Now, if Putin did it, that should make you worry enough. But the man that he got to head up the American wing of this joint Russian partnership was Henry Kissinger, a real new order, a new world order, internationalist, a kind of a man that his whole adult life has seemed to work to uh, the advantage of the communist bloc more than the United States, even as national security advisor. He's the man that opened up China, for instance, uh, that sort of thing. But he is now, or was, made immediately the chairman of the American wing of this Russian committee. It was going to be a Russian committee under Putin, half and half Americans and Russians. He adds up the American wing. The other one that he got was uh, Primakov, and he heads up the Russian end of it. The interesting thing about Primakov is that he was the former head of the KGB. Before that, he was in charge of training Muslim terrorists for the Soviet Union, arming them, getting them involved in planning and everything else. And so what you think is all this Muslim terrorists is really run out of Moscow. Still is. Always was. Uh, the Anatoly Khomeini, the man who took over Iran, was a Russian asset. Uh, the man that was the head of the PLO, Yasser Arafat, was a Russian asset. And his uh, successor was likewise trained by the Russians. So what's going on here is they're getting in here, courtesy of our own government, to find out how we respond and react to terrorist activities. And then they can transfer that information to their terrorist organizations. And of course, they, they do it in a carom situation to where the FSB does this, they get a satellite country to do that, they get an organization to do this, and then they get an individual to do that, and it's hard to trace it back to Moscow. Uh, it was traced back to Moscow with the assassination of John Paul, uh, Pope John Paul. But at any rate, these are the things that are going on. It's a very dangerous situation. It's all being done in the name of peace. We would never have invited the Gestapo to the United States to find out how we're going to react to a sabotage uh, operation by German intelligence. That's just nuts. Uh, but we do it with the Russians. Even when they, everything that they do lets us know that they're going to be a future enemy. They already are. It's a very dangerous situation. It's crazy. And we've got to put a stop to it.